Hey everyone, I am Chef April with Martin School of Cooking at Martin Supermarkets. And I am here once again to be with you for um, one of our last uh, recipes of the month for our, for our Barefoot and Burgers promotion. We're super excited about all the recipes that we've created. A total of, um, after today, it'll be four different kinds of burgers that you can easily create um, in your backyard or in my front yard where I am today. Um, on the grill there at your house. So uh, Barefoot and Burgers, it's a great promotion. We wanna see how you Barefoot and Burger. And so please um, go ahead and send us any uh, pictures or anything that you have, how you Barefoot and Burger um, to the website that will be located below this video. And we can definitely get you in for a great chance to win some great prizes, okay? So first off, what we're gonna do today I'm actually gonna do um, a little bit of a twist. So in the past couple of recipes, we've done um, a cheeseburger salad, which was, um, I had great feedback from, so thank you for that. We've done a jalapeno popper burger, as well as a Greek burger. And so today, we're gonna kind of switch it up, and we're gonna do a black bean with avocado burger. Um, so you can, of course, do any kind of burger with your ground beef, but today we're just gonna do more of a vegetarian style. Um, I'm not going to make it a vegan style, but you can easily do that with different substitutions. But today we're just going to do a vegetarian black bean burger. And this is one of my very favorites. I've done this recipe multiple times. Um, it has a little bit of spice to it. All right, let's get started. So on my grill, I actually have a charcoal grill going on today. Uh, again, I'm in my front yard today. It's, it's raining, but that doesn't mean I've put the grill away. So you can definitely grill on a rainy day. Uh, so in the recipe, you're going to be getting... Um, in the link below, um, you'll have all these ingredients. So in here, I have some chopped onion, some chopped garlic, some chopped jalapeno, and then also some chopped green pepper. And on my charcoal grill here, I just have a cast iron pan, and it's been heating up. I just put a little bit of oil in there. You're gonna hear that sizzle, and that is the sound of summer. That's the sizzle. So I'm just gonna saute this up. Now it's gonna start smelling so delicious. My favorite smell in the kitchen is garlic. I love it. It's also the worst smell, so be careful that you don't burn it because it's the worst smell in the kitchen. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this sauteed because we want those peppers to be nice and soft and we want all those aromatics and the, um, the natural oils of the onions and of the garlic to really um, fully absorb into all these vegetables and into the flavor of this burger. We're building the foundation of this burger right now. All right, so I don't want my garlic to burn. So what I'm gonna do is that's just gonna go for another minute. Um, I'm gonna watch it. And then what I'm gonna do is add my seasonings, my dry seasonings to, to the oil and to the pan because I like the flavors that it builds instead of just adding it to a bowl and, and mushing it all together. I like to almost like roast them a little bit and um, caramelize them. So on here, I have some salt and pepper, black pepper. I have some chili powder. I have some cumin. And I even have some um, smoked red pepper, um, which is super delicious. So um, here, I also have some breadcrumbs. And so the thing with a black bean burger is when some people make it, it ends up being really, really wet and loose. And I'm gonna show you a couple tricks where that's not gonna be um, happening to you today, especially for on the grill. And this is one of the keys, is actually using a breadcrumb. Um, you can use any kind of breadcrumb that you want. I actually am using a gluten-free breadcrumb today, so it's perfect for those that, um, that can't have bread. So I'm gonna use the gluten-free breadcrumb. Now that I have this nice and sauteed, I can see that my peppers are nice and soft and my onions are nice and caramelized and soft. I'm gonna add in my seasonings. I'm just gonna mix all this together. Now with that breadcrumb, that's gonna soak up that extra oil. So it's gonna almost look really, really dry. But that's okay, because again, you want it to be a drier mixture, okay? So we have that going. Now that's just gonna sit there and let all those flavors, again, just kind of work together. And then what I'm gonna do is I have a little food processor and I'm just gonna take a portion of that and put it into a food processor and blend it because then the burger is not incredibly chunky, but it has a really nice, um, like a smoother consistency to it. So um, I'm gonna be adding that to my blender here. Okay, 
You don't have to add it all, but if you can, you'll be better off for it. It smells so good. There's so many different recipes for a black bean burger as well. So I'm really curious to see what you guys think about this one. It's, it is one of my favorites for sure. So I'm gonna put this in here. Lock it in, make sure it's pressed down. This is probably one of my favorite appliances in the kitchen is this little mini blender. Okay. Looks good to me. Now in a bowl, uh, what I've done um, in the recipe too, you're gonna see, you're gonna take the two cans of black beans and if you're just working outside on the grill, you can put them on a sheet pan and then put it on the grill. And what you want the black beans to do is after you rinse them out of the can, you wanna dry them off and so that they're completely dry. Um, so I just actually put this into the oven uh, right before I came out and so they're nice and dry. So I'm gonna pop these into my bowl. When they're soppy and wet, that's not going to help your mixture later on when you're bringing all that together. There's a reason that we use different binders to bring um, a burger like this together. Binders like the egg that we're going to be using or even like the barbecue sauce. Those are really important that help keep all the consistency um, nice and uh, together so it doesn't fall apart on you. Okay, so I have my black beans in here. I'm going to take my mixture here, put that in the bowl. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix this all together. And if you can, because of those beans, again, this is gonna be nice and chunky, but what you wanna do is kinda smash it all together. You don't have to get it all. You can have some chunks, of course, but you wanna smash most of it all together. You'll start to see it almost look, almost like a refried bean kind of a mixture or texture. And this will help it kind of all stick together too. This can all be done ahead of time. Of course, you can prep this all up ahead of time. Um, and then throw it on the grill, of course, when you're all ready. So there's my mixture, nice and ready. Now in here, what I'm gonna do is add in, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I love Worcestershire sauce. So I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of Worcestershire. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. This is actually um, homemade barbecue sauce. So you can use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you want. But this adds a nice little tang. And again, it is a binder, so it's gonna keep it all together. Okay, I'm gonna add in my egg. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is add in about a half of a cup of feta cheese. And I'm gonna keep a little bit of feta left because I'm gonna show you something else later. But I'm gonna mash all this together. looks like a hot mess, but all these flavors are really gonna be awesome together. Now, at this point, you might see that your mixture is kind of wet, and that's okay, That can that's gonna to totally happen, especially after you add that egg. But that egg is super important, so make sure you add something like a binder like that, because that's gonna keep all your mixture together when you actually cook it and when you eat it. So, now you can see that it is, it is pretty wet. It's gonna be a hot mess when I kind of put it on the grill. So I've reserved some extra breadcrumbs. Okay, I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs there. Mix all that together. Now you can see here, it's all coming together. So at this point, what you're gonna wanna do, that looks really good actually, nice and, nice and chunky, okay? So at this point, what I've done, instead of getting my hands all dirty for you here on, on the show, what I wanna do is, um, I've already patted out a bunch of these burgers and put them in the refrigerator to kind of bring it all together and kind of give it a nice little chill. 
So I've done a couple small ones and a, and a, a nice big one. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna remove my pan here. Okay. And then I just have a piece of foil that's right on my grill. And then these are gonna go right on there, with direct heat, for about, about seven minutes or so, and then you're gonna go ahead and flip them. Because again, everything is cooked inside. There is that raw egg, so you do wanna give it some cook time. But that's gonna go ahead and cook it, and you wanna make sure that you get a nice little char on both sides, and it becomes like that nice crisp crust on both sides of that. So I am using the brioche bun again, and I love to toast the buns. So I'm gonna throw those on there really quick. And remember I said I was going to do with um, avocado. So I've just smashed up some fresh avocado in here. And then add, I'm gonna have some lettuce and onion there too. So I'm gonna take my bun. Awesome, nice and charred. Take one of my burgers that I've already pre-cooked, ready to go for us. Okay. I'm gonna add on some fresh avocado. Throw that on there. And on the bottom, I actually have some mayonnaise, so I'm gonna throw that as a base. And again, you can top it with whatever you want. I'm gonna go some red onions, some bib lettuce, throw that burger right back on there, and you have a delicious black bean and avocado burger on a toasted brioche roll. And again, I just have some sides. I have some cottage cheese, some of the everything, the bagel seasoning. And then I have some of that watermelon that we have fresh in our produce department right now. And if you wanna add a little kick, you can add some like salty feta cheese to that. And maybe like some couple shreds of fresh basil as well. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe today. Um, with the black bean burger. I'm super excited to see what um, what your thoughts are on it. And I definitely wanna see how you barefoot and burger. So if again, if you have not tried these hard seltzers, it's a great week after the rain is um, all done, but the weekend's gonna be nice hopefully. So grab some of the barefoot and try it out. There's a huge selection of course that, that we have offered for you here at Martin Supermarkets. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.